Hello gorgeous, this is Melanie and I am here today with a paint by numbers tip for you. I don't know if you've ever purchased a paint by number that has come in a box like this. This is a very small box and in this box were paints, paint brushes, a 16 by 20 canvas and you can see by my hand the size of this thing is very small which meant that the canvas itself was folded and had probably 12 creases in it. So what do you need to do when that happens? If you get a canvas that looks like that and you are unsure of how to get all those wrinkles out, then this is the video for you. So I work as a frame shop manager and what I've learned is that dry mounting is something we do for posters and, and photos that have been folded or rolled, have very serious creases in them. Like this is the paper that came out. This is the diagram that came with my paint by number. So you see, that's what this canvas looked like before I did this particular technique. So that gives you kind of an idea. So what I did is I took this thing to work and I thought, let me dry mount this. Let me see what happens to this canvas when I dry mount this and look how absolutely smooth and perfect this piece is. Now what dry mount does is it heat activates with this big machine that we have and it vacuum seals this canvas to an adhesive foam board. The foam board is about an eighth of an eighth of an inch thick. And so it gives you kind of a very, you know, a substantial way to hold on to your piece while you're painting. It holds it flat. You do not have to have this, you know, clipped to a board. You don't have to have it on an easel if you don't want to, but you could put this entire thing on an easel and it would be great and easy to work with. Originally, there were creases all down through here. So now you can see there's absolutely nothing. It is smooth as silk. I mean, it's perfect. So basically, once we put this thing in a dry mount machine, it stays in there for about five minutes. It does not affect the texture of the canvas. It doesn't affect anything about the quality of the canvas. So you should have no problem if you dry mount this to you know, make it work and hold your paints as it should and that kind of thing. Um, a couple of tips to know, it is a permanent technique. This will forever be on this foam board backing. But when you go to frame your paint by number and if it's on this dry mount, it makes it very easy for you to mat it or just simply frame it. You don't even have to mat it really, but you can frame it without a whole lot of issue. So having said all of that, um, the cost of dry mount can range anywhere from 15 to $25. But if you are going to frame it at the same time, usually you get a significant discount with that. So keep this in mind, you guys. Um, I work at a local Michaels and that is where we have this machine. I'm not sure about Hobby Lobby and some other of those types of places, but I hope this helps you make your canvases work for you. And I also should mention that even though I do diamond paintings as well, I do not recommend this technique for diamond paintings because of the adhesive in the background of your piece on your canvas. This technique is high heat, it's almost 200 degrees, so it would probably melt that adhesive. Therefore, I would not recommend this for your diamond painting. Now, however, I also would say probably do not dry mount this after you've got paint on it for your paint by numbers. I don't think acrylic paint will hold up that well in this kind of heat. Because I'm not sure, I don't want to encourage you to do it after you've painted your piece, but definitely take your canvases as you receive them to your local Michaels Framing Center and get them to dry mount them before you start. And that way you have a great way to hold on to the piece and work on it. All right, I hope you've found this tip to be helpful and I hope you will try it and make comments below to let me know what you found and how you, you know what you think of this. Okay, you guys, please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to have a lot more stuff coming on soon. Lots more diamond paintings, some dot mandalas, um, you know, a lot of different things. So I hope I see you back. Have a great day and thank you as always for watching.